Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we will be discussing about one more bug bounty tool which is named as HTTPX. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to be part of my community, you can check out my Discord server where you can share your doubts and get updates regarding the content that I'm going to post. So guys, in the previous video, we discussed about subfinder. So which uh, as the name suggests, it tries to find out the subdomains of uh, a target domain uh, through passively. And now we'll be discussing about one more tool, HTTPX. And first of all, all the credit goes to the developer project discovery. So this is they're they're doing a really wonderful job so if you really like it just uh just uh put a star there so that uh, they'll understand that they are doing the great work and coming to this tool so it is a multi it's a http toolkit so i'll let you know what this uh, basically means like uh, this is a tool like what we, what happens when we run a subdomain hunter is like subdomain hunter or subdomain finding stage like we get subdomains and this particular tool httpx will try to find out what kind of version the particular url is using like http httpx or some https or something like that and also this tool gives some lot more functionality guys which we'll be discussing in the next uh, like uh, in the next uh, in this part of the video and guys i'm using my uh, windows subsystem linux uh, here so you can feel free to use your uh, whatever you want so you can run it on windows if you have go configured you can run it on linux if it is dual boot virtual box or docker so wherever it is whatever linux it is just run it okay so i'm having a ubuntu machine here so which you shouldn't you shouldn't call a machine it's like a kind of a windows subsystem for linux so let me run a quick clear and you can see uh, if i do an ls here so you can see something like subdomains.txt so if i do something like subdomains.txt so you can see i have few subdomains of rapid7 so it's like 1000 or something like that so let me see how many are there so we'll use piping so wc is a term and hyphen l now you can see there are like 1164 subdomains of this particular rapid7 so rapid7 if you don't know is a company uh, which owns metasploit and uh, it does a lot of uh, uh, cyber security research and stuff so now coming back so installation is pretty pretty simple guys so make sure you are having go installed so you can see the version is go 1.7 and i recommend you going through the manual way i leave the link for the description uh, about how to install the go in the description below and you can do check that out so just copy this command and just run it and you are good to go and once you uh, uh, install it so you will be finding in a location like a, a go slash bin so there will be some location like this so go slash bin so in those location in that location you will find the httpx so what i recommend you to do is like so move that particular httpx to user bin or something like that so with the help of pseudo privileges and you can run it from anywhere so let's do uh how you can use this httpx so first of all what we'll do is like cat okay subdomain so the best uh mostly i use piping to provide output for uh, httpx so I'll just enlarge this a little bit so that you can see it uh, clearly. So 28, uh, 28 would be fine, I guess. So now you can see, I hope now you can see clearly. So if I simply provide HTTPX, like you can simply provide it. Okay. And uh, you'll get some options. As I told you, you can see HTTP and HTTPS version. So some, si some sites have both HTTP as well as the HTTPX. It is dependent. But that's the basic thing guys like uh, you can simply run like this also like it's your choice whether you can whether you want to do it or not but there are a lot more other options that you can use so which i generally let me enlarge this a little bit uh, this probes uh, this is what i generally use so uh, let me show you something so which is something like a method the request method you can see the ip so once the url you can find out the ip you uh, ip of that url you can see the c name uh, asn information uh, probe status title you can even see the title of the page like sometimes it will be definitely helpful guys like uh, sometimes you can identify what kind of page through the help of the title itself and you can see status code so status code is really really important i use this option every time cause like in the 1100 subdomains that we have like all all the subdomains might not be working some might be having a status code of 400 or 500 which is not possible like we might not use it 
and you can even see this uh, this one more option called as location so sometimes what happen is like some status codes which is like 300 something like that so they redirect to the other location so if you add this option hyphen location so it will even show you what is the redirected place it is going through you can go through the fav icon hash value something like that and one good thing is hyphen td so technology detection with the help of vapalizer so even this is really good and you have other options guys but uh, to be frank i uh, don't use all these options i sometimes use this rate limiting thing so we can uh, define the threads and something like that and they can store it in the output you can do some more stuff but uh, to be frank i don't check out all these options i only uh, use some options so this option i use it so silent option it will work so even debug option also you can use uh, i use it uh sometimes only so but it's your choice case you can use whatever it is but mostly i play with the probes uh here so let's do something like that now you can see like this is the basic part guys so okay and also you might be having doubt like satvik should we only run httpx with the help of uh, piping no you can even provide something like httpx okay uh sorry httpx and hyphen hyphen help so you can see uh I'll this is just an option but you can add an option hyphen l and you can provide the uh, file name and now we can see you can run it like this as well so it's your choice guys so i generally like piping cause i automate lot of stuff with the uh, bash and stuff so it's your choice to what you to use okay so uh, coming to this so let's run some more options here so we have something so let's add this td so it shows your uh, you can see the technologies that it is using so amazon cloud run let me do control c you can see what are the technologies that this particular site is using so ng and ix 1.14.0 sometimes if it is vulnerable you can simply report and you can get your bug valid and until or unless it is not a dupe okay so like this uh, one more option that i like really like using is status code so status uh, hyphen code i guess yeah so you can see uh, i filter most of the content with the help of status code guys so you can identify what uh, how it is useful so i'll do control c like i don't want to waste time here like uh, this takes uh, since we are running on like 1100 subdomains it is definitely going to take some time so i'm i'll uh, simply hit control c but in your case you can simply run it and one place where this will be useful is like uh, whenever you're like generally sometimes i hunt bugs on indian government website so gov.in so dot gov dot in so what happens is like you'll find lot of subdomains and uh and if you run httpx you'll find even more like some sites uh, even have the both http and https so there's a good chance of having that so like uh, i generally prefer uh, like uh, filtering out content with the help of status code so it will be definitely useful for me and also guys i forgot to mention there is one more good option here so a uh, code strings you can uh, specify only some specific st status code so that if you want you can add this option okay so i generally neglect this 400 and 500 series but uh, some people will check it uh, like i don't neglect in the sense like i just keep that in a different file so i filter them out and i'll just use them in a different file and that is it like how you can use this status code so let me do a clear once again and let me run one more options which is really good so location so this shows the redirected location uh, let me hit ctrl c now you can see uh, i'll even add this option status code so that you can understand what what's happening here so uh, let me do ctrl c now you can see there are some status codes with 300 series and you can see uh, if i like mostly if you try to access this particular url you will be nav uh, you will be uh, redirecting to this particular location or url so what you can do is like you can save some time here okay like uh, you can see almost some of these websites are getting redirected to this particular domain subdomain so you can directly hunt on that uh, once like it's kind of some login i guess so the functionality is authentication here so you can hunt down there and if you get come back you can just go and do some stuff so that is what it is and uh, there are other options i guess let me see what are the options ip you can see this ip as well so this is really good and uh, a request a server name so th even this is really page title and also the server name i really use these options sometimes okay so sometimes what happens is like i only get some limited targets a limited amount of subdomains so in those cases it will be definitely useful and also if you want you can go ahead and use it on some other stuff as well 
So now you can see, uh, you can see some Amazon uh, S3 and NGNX and something, some websites like this. So you can see it's doing the work here. So and even page title is also really good. Sometimes you can filter out a lot more content with the help of this option. Uh, but guys, all the things that I'm telling are completely my preference guys. Some people don't like running these options, but uh, I'm just trying to sh uh, tell you these will work or something like that. Okay, now you can see you're getting more information like this blue color uh, font is something like uh, what is the name of the title. So every page has some kind of title. So if I go to this page, you can see this is the title of this page and something like that. So even it will be useful and sometimes you can just these are some versions i guess yes these are some versions you can simply go there and you can simply uh, try to find it out so that is the beautiful part of this tool guys so it has a lot of options and uh, to be frank like i use this tool in my i implemented this tool in my recon process and i don't even know other tool which is as good as this and as always all the credit goes to the project discovery team so they they, they build some wonderful tools like uh, you can play with some other tools to other options as well guys but uh, i use only i like only running with uh, some few options and some might be having doubt like sadhik where can i save all this information yes uh, i am here so once you have like this you can uh, one more once once more pipe the result to some location like t so you can use t is something like a cat kind of thing so view and edit you can use view and write so you can use other tool if you want but i use t here so i'll add something like HTT px uh results dot txt i'm storing it in a, a meaningful name and if i hit enter you can see that all the information that it is obtaining is going to be stored in this particular file so if i do a control c i'll just do a control c and if i do an ls here now you can see this httpx result so if i do a cat httpx results you can see uh, some information about this thing and one uh, most uh, good option that people use generally is this uh, silent option so if you run like this what happens is like you'll be getting some kind of banner kind of thing but if you don't want to see it so you can add silent uh, silent and you can see you won't get anything like that so uh, that that's one important tool guys so during your uh, recon stage you can definitely add this tool or if you are having any tool something like this which is similar similar to this you can just let me know in the comment section i will try to uh, uh, use that i'll try to implement that in my thing and uh, if you really like this video make sure you like it and do share it with your friends so that uh, this content could reach more people this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you